uproar at MPs taking highly paid jobs has opened up a generational divide in the Conservative Party with newly elected Tories alarmed that their reputation has been damaged by the actions of longer-serving colleagues. Labour now has a six-point lead ahead of the Conservatives, according to Savanta Res, in the latest sign that allegations of sleaze have damaged Tory fortunes. A Conservative insider said many of the MPs who won Labour held red wall seats are frankly aghast at the amounts of money their colleagues are making. Dot. In the latest blow to the party, Scottish Tory leader Douglas Ross has reported himself to Westminster's ethics watchdog for failing to declare earnings while serving as an MP. Mr Ross apologised for failing to fully record his salary as a member of Scottish Parliament and earnings as a football assistant referee. He has accepted just one salary since being returned to Holyrood with cash going to several charities. The polling found two-thirds of people think Boris Johnson should apologise for his handling of the Owen Paterson scandal. The government-backed attempt to delay Mr. Paterson's suspension from the Commons for breaking lobbying rules and replace the system for scrutinising EMP's behaviour has put the spotlight on the jobs MPs have taken to top up their salary of £81,932. A first-term Conservative MP who turned their seat from red to blue in 2019 said, It's a source of frustration that we have newer MPs who I believe take their role very seriously and are very connected with their electorate and are very devoted to their role and it does seem as though there is another class of MP who are arrogant and complacent. Another MP who in 2019 won a Labour-held seat for the Conservatives said there is a very clear generational gap among MPs and while those who won red wall seats are working at the coalface every single week, it was the old guard who were at the heart of the furore.